I recently did my very first ring pour on some Christmas baubles. I wonder if I can recreate this look on some plain wine glasses. Let's try it out. Oh, I did. And I'm pretty much gonna use the same process and the same paints as I did on those ornaments. That's the color I want. Bronze, copper, wait, wait. Antique bronze, Liquitex Basics, Thio, Thalo Cyanine Green, Art Smith Turquoise Blue, Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green, and Art Smith Titanium White. I'm using American Slow Troll. And I found this at um, a big box hardware store. Shake it up. Let me start with the bronze. I'm going to stir this more. Just to, it's very, very thick. Just, um, I'm going to eyeball it. So it's going to be one part paint to four parts flood troll. I am not going to measure one good clump. I'm going to show you. It's like the very bottom of the cup. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. It's the very bottom of the cup. And I'm going to eyeball it. Next, I'm going to mix up the thalocyanine, thalocyanine green, one to four again, and I'm going to eyeball it. And Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green, Art Smith Turquoise Blue, Smith Titanium White. Oh my God, that's a lot of paint. Lid goes on, and now we're going to start stirring. A warm honey, I'm told, is the consistency that you want. And so if you have to add a little bit of water, I think that's fine. I really think that this is the thickness that I want because I just, um, I don't want it to run all off. I'm going to start with a little bit of white. Blue, aqua, bronze, that's too much bronze, oh my gosh, white, green, I forgot about this. And I'm going to end with the white. And I really do not know what this is going to do. Bloody mess. I'm going to put some little canvases under here to catch the drip because I know there's going to be drips and I want to catch them for sure. Almost had a disaster. Okay. 
Do I need to prime it, you think, with some white? I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking I need to prime it. All right, I'm going to prime it. You know what, I'm only going to do one because I just really think this is going to be a hot mess, but it's an experiment. So I'm just going to see. All right. It's pretty in the cup at least. It's really pretty. All right, here we go. Here we go. Can you see it? Here we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Start in the middle. Oh, there's the there's the copper coming in. All right, well now I have to do two. I have to do two now. Let me prime this one with the white. It may be a total, complete fail. It's pretty so far. What I'm worried about is the colors get just blending all together and just ending up as a light blue ball blob. Uh, but look at the cells in this cup. Can you see it? Okay. I need to get some of this bronze on the other one. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm still praying to the crafting gods at this point because I'm really hoping it doesn't just turn into a muddy mess. But so far, it's looking looking pretty good. And I was just so focused on watching the paint that I forgot to talk but I have a feeling it is going to muddy together, especially on the bottom.
So what I've thought about doing maybe is wiping the rim now instead of trying to fight it later. Because when I put resin, I want to have, I want to make sure the resin has a good bite on the glass itself because I want I want that paint to be completely sealed in. It's got to have a good bite to the resin. You don't want any kind of gap. Really should have taped it. Now I can get the rest of that white. Look at how wobbly these glasses are. Holy cow. Now, you know what would be really cool is to set up a time lapse video to show this. These are probably the wobbliest, wonkiest wine glasses I've ever seen. These are the, the third and fourth glasses that I'm going to paint. And I'm going to just use what is left in the cup. Just layering some more paint in, into the cup so I have enough for these um, these two more glasses. And adding some blue in. And I'm trying to get these as level as I possibly can, but I don't want all the paint to tip off to the bottom. And I'm going to prime these with a little bit of white. That just helps the paint to um i said i was going to tape up the edge you know this just helps to prime the paint and it lets it slide a little bit better i got my windows open my door is open because it is open door season in coastal florida i love it love it love it all right here we go Look how pretty the cup is all right, let's do it. Oh, I don't want my white to come out first. Do I? Okay, here we go. I'm going to alternate this time. probably could mix my colors a little thinner. I feel like I could mix them a little thinner just to keep them coming out of the cup. And you know I'm going to have to do Christmas ornaments like this now. Well, you are complaining. None of the copper came out. So maybe I'll just try to hit it in a couple of spots.
tell you, adding that blue, <clears throat> adding that blue made the difference. I feel like. I'm not gonna fight the cup anymore. That copper is sunk down to the bottom because it's so thick. This one is really looking good. A little muddy on the bottom. So I think what I'm gonna do, instead of fighting the cup, I'm just gonna take, um, I'm gonna take my stick with the white and I'm going to just tap a little bit and fill in a little hole. I'm just kind of helping it a little bit. I'm trying to get that collar to pull down to the very bottom and it will I mean it will it is going to that's just the centrifugal force I guess of the glass and the turning I'm gonna wipe the rim I don't want it even that's a good spot there but I don't what I'm trying to do is give when I apply the resin because I'm going to top coat these with resin I want to be able for the resin to have a good bite on the glass so that we don't have so we don't have any gap at all so it's got to have a good bite on the resin and I can clean that up before we resin. These colors are so gorgeous together. These are a lot brighter than the first pair. We've got to be patient and let these spin probably overnight and dry completely. So no peeking. This is the first look and oh my goodness, I'm so happy with how these dried and turned out. Um, drips are really cool. I wish I had, sort of wish I had put these on a silicone mat, but, um, this one's neat. This one's really cool too. The, the color's muddied a little bit. I have no idea what that blue splotch is. Huh. Anyway. So now... What I need to do is put some resin on these guys. Turn this around. All right, I'm gonna do a little surgery on these arms first. Just, oh man.
I do, I like to hook them all the way up to the joint and sometimes it hollows out the center of the pool noodle. So I'm taking a little piece of shelf liner and going over where that joint is to fill in the gap. And you can use tape too, or you can just put it like over the um, PVC but it doesn't really hold on very tight. So just for security, I do this. And it just makes it a little tighter. This one's loose. I just, just I don't know why. This one's okay. But doing this though, it just, it's angled down. Honestly, I think it's because there's weight. It, the weight is not even on the turner arm itself. And so sometimes that does allow for a sag. Um, it just, uh, the, the weight of the end allows for the, the, you know, the weight to sag. So, you know, honestly, it is what it is, and just, um, uh, gonna go with it. I need to fix this one too. And this one, for whatever, whatever reason, is not fitting real tightly in there. I've been putting painter's tape on it. Use double sided tape too. Probably need to get some plumber's putty, plumber's glue, and get it on there. I will fix that. this to go ahead and clean. Don't like that one sagging. Baby wipe. Maybe. Yeah, that works good. That's coming right off a little bit. Ah. That's the residual for me trying to clean it up last night. I did come come back off camera. I think it was off camera. Um, 
just to get some of the like the excess paint that was sort of globbed on here um you know just the the force of the well you can see it right here where it's just it pulls it down and so there was this big glob of paint right there and i didn't want that to I'm going to use KS Resin Liquidy Split. Um, let me get my turner turning the right way. Oh, I want it to go that way. There we go. Okay, I'm going to mix up KS Resin Liquidy Split. I'm going to mix up 40 milliliters. These are really smooth. I have no raised bubbles at all. And I didn't even put a torch on these. All right. I have my windows open, my door open, my fan going. I have an amazing cross breeze going on right now in my studio. So always make sure you have proper ventilation when you're working with resin, okay? I am so excited to put resin on this. Oh my goodness, it's going to be amazing. I just know it is. Holy cow, look at that. It's like glass, y'all. It's like glass. Oh my. So I am going up to the very rim. And normally I do not, although lately, actually, I have been going up to the very top because I, this one's not as. There's not as much resin as you would think on the very top, but I want to make sure that I get a really good seal between the glass and the paint. Because the last thing you want is for the resin to um, separate from the glass, and then you have a problem with um, moisture getting up under the resin and that is just a great big mess so look at how much that color pops that is amazing go back over that one let's do the bottom first on this one and i do need to clean the end Yeah, this one muddied just a little bit right here. I still like the pattern though. Very much like desert rock. Uh, kind of it kind of what it reminds me of like Jasper when we lived in Arizona. We had Jasper everywhere. And it's kind of what this reminds me of. Very, very similar. I'm just going to be very close attention to the top there. 
and this is really popping. Really popping. Love it. Make that little spot there. Okay, let's down there, buddy. Now I haven't painted a glass like this in a long time. Um, I don't know if I am going to need to put another top coat. So I think what I'm going to do with these, instead of putting these into my art show booth, actually I may put these in my art show booth as a display. Oh, maybe not. Let me just do a voiceover for this. Let me go back over that.
All right, I'm gonna let these spin for a couple of hours and come back. I got other stuff I need to get done today. So let's give these a rest and we'll be back. Look how pretty these are. This is just like glass. Look at that. Oh, these are so pretty. That. So, so, so pretty. I really like, I really like this set. Spot up here. I really, really like these two. And I like the other, the other ones too. I gotta clean this paint off of here. I made a mess. But look at that. I haven't done that in a long time, but I really love these. Mm. So I think I got to try this again. Really glad I took the chance and just tried something different. Hope you learned something new. Inspired to maybe give this a try. Acrylic paint pouring on Christmas or not Christmas ornaments. These aren't Christmas ornaments. These are wine glasses. Just got a little bit of cleanup to do, but yeah. Give it a try. Cheers, friends. Bye.